Hey, what's up guys? This is an old battle that I had saved. Um, as you can see, our teams are here respectively. This was before Greninja hit the Ubers ban, so that's why he's on this team. Um, it's built around my Metagross. Uh, it's not Mega, just because I felt not really like playing with Megas at the time. Uh, he's going to lead off with Frogator. Um I'm going to lead off with my Fortress, uh, just because this is the Hazard setup, and Fortress is just an absolute monster. Uh, he's going to go off, lead off with Aqua Jet. I'm not really sure why. Uh, other than the crit, I don't really think that was the wisest choice on his part. Get us up a layer of Toxic Spikes here. Um, that's pretty much all this Fortress is going to do. Uh, I think I set up full Toxic and I don't remember 100% if I get regular Spikes. But he's going to go and set up Dragon Dance knowing that uh, he's going to need to do it to uh, do any damage to f my Fortress in and of itself. Um, another layer of Spikes goes up. Like I said, I'm going for full spikes. I want to absolutely decimate his team with entry hazards. Um, not really too concerned uh, with, even though he's um, boosted, uh, I know Ice Punch is going to do a lot. Um, I guess he's just trying to do residual damage overall. He is Life Orb though, um, so he's it's just in the long run probably going to do him more harm than good. Uh, I start setting up my spikes, and uh, Fortress just consider, and continues to... Uh, do the absolute damage. Well, in passing, he does a lot of damage. Uh, Aqua Jet again. Um, I don't know why he's going for Aqua Jet. He really should. He should have packed Waterfall. Would have done a lot more damage. Um, so since I know I can still keep setting up, I'm going to go ahead and keep doing that. Um, and I know I talk about not liking uh, stalls, but um, when this is my setup strategy, this is kind of how I play. Um, and I know that my team needs it because a lot of my Pokemon are pretty frail. Um, Go ahead and Volt Switch here, just because I know um, uh, whatever goes, whatever I switch into um, should be able to take a couple hits, just because this Frogator is so frail. Uh, I switch into my Metagross here. Um, it's very stupid of me, considering I just saw Crunch a turn ago, and uh, he's almost going to one-shot me here. So, um, not my brightest play ever, but I live on 21 HP. Uh, he gets the Defense Drop, which is really, really unfortunate. But um, I did pack the Chesta, or... No, sorry about that. Citrus Berry. And, uh, I know the Thunder Punch. Somehow I outspeed even after he's boosted. That's ridiculous. And, uh, Thunder Punch is going to one-shot for Alligator even though, um, he's pretty low on health. Uh, he's going to bring out his Magmortar here. Um, I think I switch out, but he's going to get entry hazards, both badly poisoned and the spikes. Um, I'm going to switch out just because I know I cannot do a gosh darn thing to this Magmortar. Uh, I bring in my Salamence. Um, Intimidate doesn't matter. Um, yeah, ignore that altogether. He's gonna use a flamethrower here. Uh, I expected Salamence to take to pretty well, and obviously he does. Um, we see he's packing the leftovers, which, I mean, doesn't really concern me too much just because he's got, um, he's toxic poisoned. And, uh, I go for Hydro Pump here just because, um, I like to run special uh, attack Salamence. Just because it's not really normal, people don't expect it too terribly much. He lives on like 1 HP and gets the Confuse right off. Not happy about that at all. Um, so, um, Salamence is pretty crippled right here. Uh, he is going to go down to the Poison, I believe. If memory serves correct, and he is down. So, obviously, uh, Hazards are going to make a huge difference in this game in the long run. That's why I bring him. Uh, he brings in the Sylveon. Um, we're just ready, ready to wall the absolute crap out of me. Uh, he is poison though, so yay that. Uh, he's gonna take both that and the spikes, and I'm gonna switch out, go into my crowbat right here. Um, honestly, I expected to be able to do a lot more, but uh, Shadow Ball is just gonna absolutely wreck me. Um, it's gonna be a two hit KO though. I am packing the Black Sludge, so I do have the recovery. Um, not terribly concerned right now, so could be worse. He's gonna switch out of his Sylveon. Go into his Breloom. Sorry about that, guys. I need a drink. And, uh, obviously, in the long run, uh, the spikes are gonna do probably more harm than good here. Uh, Crobat with the, uh, Sludge Bomb right there. Just, I don't know what he was doing. I think it was maybe just to sack off his Breloom. Uh, maybe he thought he could have got one hit in. Maybe he thought he could have outspeed me. Uh, he's gonna bring in his Houndoom here. Um, the poison spikes and, uh, just regular spikes are gonna just continue to dwindle his team. Uh, he goes for the uh, Mega Evolution here. And I do believe if memory serves correct, he just one shots me with a flamethrower. 
Oh no, I get the air cutter off first. Uh, this is not going to knock this out. This is going to do jack diddly squat. Uh, it does about 10 to 15 percent HP. Flamethrower is going to absolutely destroy me. And my crowback goes down to that. So, not looking. It's about. It's pretty even right now. Um, I'm going to bring my King Kelder just because. If you guys know me well enough that I, I abuse the holy crap out of King Kelder just because it's so awesome. A uh, Flamethrower is going to do a ton of damage here. But I go ahead and set up a bulk up just because I do have the mock punch. So, uh, next turn I will be able to go first. So. It's gonna come down to under half now, and I just... Oh yeah, this is the Flame Orb Gut setup. Uh, Mock Punch, obviously gonna one-shot this Houndoom, uh, just because there's no way a Mega Houndoom's gonna take a bulk up Mock Punch. And unfortunately, uh, residual damage from the burn is gonna do more damage in the long run to Kunk and uh, goes down to Sylveon here. Awesome play on his part. Um, I, ex I forget what I did here. I think I might have been going for a payback. I should have gone for a mock punch just for residual chip. Uh, Moonblast will, however, take me out. And he's gonna. Uh, like I said, this is really even battle for the most part. Bringing my Greninja here. Um, Greninja's not gonna be able to do anything this. Uh, Scald, I don't know what was wrong with me. Um, I just kind of felt like doing something to this. Uh, I expected it to do more, but I was wrong. Uh, Moonblast, I do believe, one shots me. Um, even though I'm at full health. Yeah, of course, critical hit. And uh, Greninja's gonna go down. And, yeah, just... This was such an even battle, I think that's why I kept this one. Uh, bring in my Metagross here. I know Bolt Punch will um, take the Sylveon out pretty easily. And, uh, yeah. That's one dead Sylveon. Knocked... Okay, knocked out Sylveon, sorry about that. Uh, that's all she wrote for Sylveon. Uh, I do believe... Yeah, okay. Machamp is one of his last Pokemon, and again, poison and uh, spike damage. I should be packing rocks, but um, my uh, my fortress has Volt Switch and Rapid Spin. Gonna knock me out there. I uh, did not really see that coming. I kind of figured I out speed. He might have been scarfed, uh, but I'm bringing my Salamence right here just to uh, get the Intimidate off. I should have done that in the first place, but playing as recklessly as I normally do, uh, I just ignored it. Uh, Draco Meteor right here, just because I know uh, I pretty much have the match in the bag, and that's going to take my champ out. And I do believe that is it. Yep, alright, thanks for watching guys, do appreciate it, like I said. Um, I will stick around if you guys do like these videos, so um, just let me know if you do in the comments, and uh, I can stick around. Um, I've had a lot of fun doing this this past week, so like I said, um, just let me know, and if you guys do enjoy these battles. I know they're not the best quality, but I'll try to get to it sooner or later. So, thanks for watching, guys. See y'all later.